All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to all the mods nine guys. We are rocking version uh, 0.0.46, which has a lot of stability improvements. But today we're going to be working on some spawners. Finally, uh, yeah, we need to get some resources, you know, extra generated on top of what our quarry is already doing. So we're going to get the party started right now. So I have gone ahead and moved uh, this into the wall. It actually is on cyan. Um, cables but yeah for some reason they're wanting to stay purple with shaders i've got a feeling if i turn them off no that's just how they look interesting anywho so um in our mob or not our mob but our quarry over here um i set up this kind of chest here that would put extra items that we were getting into this um, and we've got a few spawners here. We got a creeper skeleton, two spiders, and a cave spider spawner. Um, yeah. So we're gonna see what we could do with Ender IO today. Um, okay. So um, a soul binder. This is if we wanted to go and change what we had. And I think I want to do this. Um, I think getting this. So we need soul sand and. Gold. Uh, we don't have a lot. We got a lot of gold, which is good. So what we're gonna do is throw these in here. Cool. Solarium ingot. That should go into our system. Good. So we can make a soul vial. Um, and I think yeah, I think we want to go ahead and change the spawner and the cave spawner, but we'll leave the creeper and the skeleton. So I'm just gonna grab a chest here because this will give us bone meal. Uh, for the skeletons, right? And then we want gunpowder from the creepers. So that's good. So I'm going to make a couple of those guys. And we can go and kind of find a couple. Um, I think we should start with the creeper and turn it into a powered spawner. Um, this guy here. So we're going to need a Z logic controller, which means we need to slice and splice. Which means we need this guy. Soul chain. Oh, wow. Okay. We're going to need a sag mill. So I guess, I guess we get started on that. Oh, we need dark steel nuggets. Okay. So we got two of those going. We're missing just a piston. Very good. Okay. Oh, we're missing wood. Okay. So now we should be able to make the piston no problem. Booyah. And we have ourselves a sag mill. Perfect. Hmm. Nope. I don't think we're going to be able to do it there. We can't hide the power. We could put it up here, though. And so we still have a chance to automate it, so that's good. Um, yeah, because it's right, right here. I just need an energy cable real quick. All right, and we're going to need a capacitor for it. Um, I think we should try to make these. Oh, well, looks like we're going to have to to do it the fun way. All right, powder. Well, let's see about let's see about making one of these guys first. Okay, and then recipe. Coal dust. I don't think. Yeah, we want this one. Okay, this will go into a sag mill, and we'll have this one. Okay, so we've got all of these. Crafting ones here. The only one that we can't have crafted essentially is the coal, but glowstone, octatic, um, basic capacitor, then the double layer we can have auto crafted. So let's go ahead and grab a ME interface. Here we are. And then we're going to grab an ME import bus. Then we're going to grab, I think we need blue cable. Okay, we're gonna turn that into the pattern terminal, the easy one. And then right here, we can place this. We can take this guy, connect him right in. Um, this'll be a little interesting. We can break this guy. Okay, and we import bus, boom. That should connect up. Device online, perfect. So this guy is now essentially automated. Um, let's get a double layer in there for now and pull from the top, push out the bottom. Good. And 
ba bang ba bang and so now i just need to put a cable facade onto that guy real quick oh i'm down here okay so now we should be able to see the sag mill yep there it is and we can place that in there so now let's look at the octatic and we'll say we'll make four of these missing some grains of infinity okay how do we make those again hold some flint in your off hand and some deep slayer cobbled deep slate in your main hand then shift right click a block of obsidian early grains of infinity there we go so i just put some obsidian underneath this anvil and i'm just shift right clicking with flint in my off hand cobble deep slate in my main hand and we get every single one of them very cool maybe we'll set up a way to automate this here in the future actually i believe we can pretty easily okay so now we got two stacks of those the octatic capacitors we should be able to make four of them no problem very good oh wait let's put some let's grab some flint actually and throw it into the sag mill is it supposed to help yeah got one octatic capacitor all right they're now completed so let's come on over here we're gonna swap this out swap this out this guy and this guy so they should be running a decent amount faster which is awesome oh i need that spawner wait oh i have some in here skeleton zombie cave spider okay so we only need one skeleton one so we'll turn that into something else uh do we really need rotten flesh i don't think we need to really worry about it okay so powered spawner vibrant crystals vibrant alloy we can craft some okay so that'll get started um maybe that's something we automate real quick okay so we have this recipe and then this recipe and then that's that's auto crafted already good okay so we throw those in there so these guys are going to be auto crafted let's work on the slice and splice okay so we don't have any of those we need to make some energetic alloy as well and that'll have to get started afterward yeah I should really copy these for each of the alloy smelters so they can all be rolling. How quick is this now? Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, cool. It's actually making a couple of them for us. Good. Okay. So now we should be able... Ooh. Do I have any skulls? I don't. Oof. How do we... How do we get one of those? Wither skeleton skull. Blank skull. Okay, so we're gonna have to get into this. Do I have any soul dust? I do. Cool. So we should be able to make that real quick. Okay. Um, skeleton essence is what we. I mean, this is gonna be really simple to fill up some soul vials because I have the skeleton farm. Um, I used to do it with bones. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so I got the soul jars here. So now uh, I'm gonna take my solium dagger and we're gonna go to the skeleton farm. And I guess I'll just fill these bad boys up. Super simple. Okay, so we've got all of the soul jars filled up now. Uh, as you can see, all good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and make the seeds. Um, yeah, skeleton seeds. Okay, so we just need tier three okay there we go hmm. gotta go mining okay so solium dust acquired now we can make the solium seeds all right so now we are all good to go so let us craft the seeds one two three four three four awesome skeleton seeds let's go beautiful Okay, so now we can start to get some essence going. Do I have any botany pots available? I do not. Okay. Got a couple of drawers available. Booyah. Okay, so 
We're not gonna be able to make the slice and splice just yet, but the cool thing is, is we can con work on converting these into normal spawners, uh, like un unbroken spawners, you know, the powered spawners. So let's go ahead and start doing that while we wait for the things, because we're gonna need a, a head. Um, solarium ingot, do I have any solarium? Yeah, I do. Oh, cool. Okay, so what do we not have? We don't have this guy. Solarium nugget, okay. Don't have powdered quartz. Oh, well, let's get some. There we go. Got some powdered quartz. So we should now be able to make two of these. Good. All right. Now we don't have any quartz because I've put it all in the sag mill. Just kidding. We got a bunch of quartz over here. Don't worry, we'll convert all of those soon. We're gonna build a basement with where all of those will hang out. Good, now we got a lot of quartz, all right. So boom, we got this guy, good. Now we just need to work on this guy. Cool, okay. So the only thing we're waiting for is, oh, oh, we can make it. Yeah, I think that was worth it, okay. Um, I don't know. Was that important? Why, why did I have that? I, I don't know, but we, we really needed it. Hopefully, hopefully that wasn't super duper important. I just ruined it for people. Okay, octatic. There we go. Good. All right. So there's the slice and splice. Very nice. Uses. Yeah. Under resonator. Hmm. I don't really know. A witch infused into it. Okay, powered spawner. Um, the Z logic controller. This is what we're after. So we need an axe. We need some shears. Okay, so we should be able to put those into there. Very good. All right, now we need solium. We need a zombie head. Oh. Oh. That's. That's not fun. We kill zombies. Hmm. I think I should just make a recipe for soul glass and soul jars. Okay. Well, I wasn't all the way successful. I gotta kill a couple more zombies, so I guess I'm gonna go down into the mines and see if I can kill a couple more. All right, so I just need to find one more zombie down here. And we are all set. Oh, there we go, here's our guy. There we go, cool. So 10, 10, 10, 10, good. Yeah, we're gonna get out of there. <laughs> okay, so zombie seeds. Um, yeah, so we need tier, tier three essence. And we're good. So let's go ahead and get crafty. All right, so there we got our zombie seeds. Um, so we need a botany pot and we're gonna get these guys going Okay, there we go zombie seeds are working. So while we have those kind of getting started um, We got silicone That we get from clay Or just straight up sand We got a bit of that. So let's throw it into our sag mill here there we go, silicone from under I.O. We got lots of it. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. Oh, we can only put one in there. That is fine. We need solium, or solarium, and some redstone. Boom, and boom, and boom. So now all we have to do is just wait for the zombies, zombie seeds to do their thing, which is fun. That's good. We'll figure it out. Okay, so we have eight zombie essence here, so we can go ahead and make ourselves a skull, zombie head right there, boom. So now we put this here, and this creates a Z logic controller, which means we have everything we need for a spawner. But we're not gonna use a magma cube, we're gonna use a wither skeleton, that's right. I mined the wither skeleton spawner that was right outside our base. Um, <clears throat> that has been for a while. So now we have a spawner with a wither skeleton in it. So 
Um, what do we use to kill it? That's the question. Okay, so I've done something a little crazy here. Let's see what happens if we do this. Oh, it spawns them right in. Doesn't need to worry about light level or anything. Here we got one. Okay. You guys are acting a little funny. Managed to not get hit this whole time. I don't know how. Nope. Yep, they do hit me. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. We now have... The ability to spawn in wither skeletons whenever we want that's pretty cool uh we need to build a room for them so uh, we're gonna make a we're gonna make some fast vector plates here um so i need some sugar and we need some slime balls we got just a few slime balls over here okay so how do you use the slime oh just three Okay, so there we go. Uh, we can make a bunch of the vector plates. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of sugar. There we go. Perfect, okay. So we don't want them to go too fast, uh, which is why we built those, but we are going to build a little chamber for them. Do I have, let me see here. We do, let's get some glass. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to worry about that later. Um, I feel like eventually we're just going to move these guys into the basement anyway. Okay, so we'll just put it here temporarily. Um, yeah, so... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we have the spawning area set up and kind of the killing chamber. Um, I've got them getting funneled into here and then they'll drop down to here. And then just over here, I made a little temporary staircase so we can come down here and give them a few schmacks. So um, there's a couple things I want to go ahead and try. I also want to try this damage plate um, from Dark Utilities. So we'll see how that goes. Um... But yeah, for now, I'm going to place this here and we'll put in the octatic. Oh, okay. So they are spawning in very fast. Oh my. Okay. Yeah, they're spawning in too fast. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So I think I need to put a lever onto that guy because, yeah, we are getting crazy amount of items. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Too many mobs. Ah, okay. Yeesh, okay. So we've determined that uh, that's a problem. Especially if I'm smacking them with fortune. Here we get so, so many things. But we do have a source of wither skeleton skulls, which means we can... Have some fun, but let's go see. Can we make this? We need a crimson fungus. Okay. Okay, a crimson fungus obtained. So, oops, let's try to make one of these plates. Okay, so we're going to put this at the bottom and see how this fares. Okay. Hmm. It seems to be working fairly good. Um, but I don't think I'm going to get any wither skulls for it. Hmm. Oh, wow. Interesting backpack. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have the farm up and running. I can get wither skulls from it. So it works pretty good. And the damage plate is a good way of getting rid of the, the skeletons. So, yeah. I mean, consider it up and working. Um... Cool. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button, guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. This has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.